Welcome back to AIPRM Tutorials. Today we're going to go through how to filter prompts by topic, activity, popularity, and model. So you're logged into ChatGPT, you've started up a new chat, you've got your AIPRM Chrome extension enabled. How are we going to find the prompt that we want to use? I mean, there are over 3,500 prompts in there. We got to narrow it down. So top left corner, we've got our topics, right? So we can sort by topics, whether it's copywriting, marketing, productivity, SEO, you name it. And if for whatever reason, if it doesn't fall into one of those buckets, that prompt might just be in the unsure category. That's okay. We can then move over to activities. There's a long list of activities, products, startup ideas, subject lines, text editor, you name it. What you'll notice is if you do select one of the topics, so when I select marketing, all of a sudden we'll see the activities are then limited. If for whatever you're looking for a prompt and you can't find it, remember to reset because those actually stay there as long as you're in this session. Now, Moving over to the sort by, this is really popularity, usage. So top usage, which prompts are actually being used most by any AI PRM users? Which ones actually have the most votes? So if you click on this thumbs up for a given prompt, you're voting, boom, I like that prompt. The top votes absolute and the top views, you can actually see which ones have the most views. And then latest updates, what are the newest prompts? Say you wanna sort by newest prompts, you can sort by newest prompts. The model, so this is actually a newer feature, but basically whether you're using normal ChatGPT or ChatGPT Plus with version four, the prompt engineers can now label their models by the model that they want the prompt to use. So whether you're using basic four or the version, if you go over to ChatGPT4, you'll notice you could do browsing with Bing or the different plugins. You can find specific prompts that work with those browsing code and plugins. It just helps you narrow it down. So there you go, using those filters to be able to find the prompt that you want, narrow it down, and get the most out of AI PRM. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. Check out all of our other tutorials if you have any more questions or you want to get more out of AI PRM.